Okay, so for this problem, we're asked to determine the center of mass of an object. And we're given S, which is a solid cube given by X, Y, and Z are all between 1 and 2. And we're also given the density, which is X plus Y plus C. So first off, I'm going to calculate the denominator of all of the coordinates. Because, well, let me go ahead and write it down. Etc. So all, each coordinate, x, y, and z, is given by the integral of whichever coordinate times the density integrated over volume divided by the density integrated over volume. So let's start by doing that denominator. So I have an integral. of x plus y plus z dv. Well, x, y, and z all have the same bounds for this problem from 1 to 2. So it doesn't really matter which order I integrate in. I'm just going to say dz dy dx. OK, let's go ahead and start integrating. Well. If I'm integrating with respect to z, x and y are both going to be constants. So when I integrate them, I'm going to get x plus y times z. And then for z, I'm going to get 1 half z squared. And I'm going to evaluate this from z equals 1 to z equals 2. Let's go ahead and plug in 2. So I have 2 times quantity x plus y plus 1 half times 4. Now let's subtract uh, z equals 1. So I have x plus y plus 1 half. So I know if I have 2x plus y minus x plus y, I'm just going to get 1x plus y. And then 1 half times 4 is going to be 2. And 2 minus 1 half is going to be 3 halves. So I have x plus y plus 3 halves dy dx. Let's go ahead and integrate with respect to y. So I'm going to treat x and 3 halves like constants. So I'm going to get quantity x plus 3 halves times y. And then y is going to become 1 half y squared. And I want to evaluate this from y equals 1 to y equals 2. Let's go ahead and plug in. So this looks kind of similar to when I evaluated z. I have 2 times the quantity x plus 3 halves plus 1 half quantity 4 minus x plus 3 halves plus 1 half. So let's go ahead and subtract. 
Well, I know I have 2x plus 3 halves minus x plus 3 halves, which is going to be x plus 3 halves. And this 1 half times 4 still equals 2. And 2 minus 1 half is still 3 halves. I'm going to go ahead and combine these two 3 halves to make 3. And let's integrate x plus 3. So x is going to become 1 half x squared. And 3 is going to become 3x. And let's evaluate that from x equals 1 to x equals 2. So for x equals 2, I have 1 half times 4, which is still 2, plus 3 times 2, which is 6. So 8 total. Now let's plug in x equals 1. So I'm going to get 1 half plus 3. So 3 and a half. So now I just need to do 8 minus 3 halves, and I'm going to get 4 and a half which is like 9 halves. Okay, so that's the denominator for all of my coordinates for center of mass. Let's go ahead and do the numerator for x. So I need to integrate same bounds and everything. But now I need x times my density function. So I'm going to have x squared plus xy plus xc. I went ahead and grouped the xy plus xc together. Now I need to divide this by that 9 halves that I got. I'm going to go ahead and put 2 ninths out in front of the integral. So that'll be like dividing by 9 halves. Okay, and now we are ready to integrate. And I actually am gonna change my bounds of integration for this time. I'm gonna integrate with respect to x first, just because it looks like it's the most messy. So now I have x, then y, then z. But since all of the bounds for x, y, and z are the same, the front part of my integral doesn't change. Let's integrate with respect to x. Well, x squared is gonna become 1 third x to the third. And I'm going to treat y plus z like a constant. So I'm going to get 1 half x squared times y plus z. And I'm going to evaluate that from x equals 1 to x equals 2. So let's start by plugging in 2. So I have 1 third times 2 to the third, which is 8 thirds, plus 1 half times 4, which is 2, times quantity y plus z. Now let's plug in x equals 1. I'm going to get 1 third plus 1 half quantity y plus z. So let's go ahead and combine some terms. First, I have 8 thirds minus 1 third, which is going to be 7 thirds. It's a bad 7. 7 thirds. And then I have 2 times y plus z minus 1 half times y plus z. Well, 2 minus 1 half is 3 halves. So I have 7 thirds plus 3 halves quantity y plus z. And now I'm ready to integrate with respect to y. First, I'm going to break this parentheses apart just because now z is going to be a constant and it's just easier if they're separate. So 
So it just distributed the 3 halves. Now let's integrate. 7 thirds and 3 halves z are both going to be treated like constants. So I'm going to combine them and say that I get seven thirds plus three halves z times y when I integrate. And then for three halves y, I'm going to get three over four y squared. And I'm going to evaluate this from y equals one to y equals two. Let's start by plugging in two. So I have 2 times quantity 7 thirds plus 3 halves z plus 3 fourths times 4, which is just 3. Now let's plug in y equals 1. I'm going to get 7 thirds plus 3 halves z plus 3 fourths. Let's go ahead and combine some like terms. We've seen this a lot already, but 2 quantity 7 thirds plus 3 halves z minus 7 thirds plus 3 halves z is just one of those quantities. And now I'm looking at 3 minus 3 fourths. Well, I can make that a common denominator, right? So 3 becomes 12 over 4 minus 3 over 4 gives me 9 fourths. So this is a DZ. That is my fault. OK, so now let's add that 7 thirds and 9 fourths. So I need to make a common denominator, which is going to be 12. So I have 28 over 12 plus 27 over 12. So let me go ahead and add these. So eight plus seven, fifteen. Fifty five, twelve. Okay, now we're ready to integrate with respect to Z. So 3 halves z is, becoming, is going to become 3 over 4 z squared. And 55 over 12 is a constant, so it's just going to become 55 over 12 times z. And I want to evaluate this from z equals 1 to z equals 2. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in. So for z equals 2, I get 3 fourths times 4, which is just 3, plus 55 over 6, right? 55 over 12 times 2, cancel those 2's out. Now let's plug in 1. And I get 3 fourths plus 55 over 12. So 3 minus 3 fourths, we've had that one already. So 12 over 4 minus 3 over 4 gives me 9 fourths. And 55 over 6 minus 55 over 12 is going to be 55 over 12. Because remember, 55 over 6 is double 55 over 12.
Okay. Here's one of those situations where you might want to use your calculator. I'm going to do it by hand. So I need to make a common denominator with these two fractions in the middle, and I'm going to choose 12. So I have 27 over 12 plus 55 over 12. Five plus seven is 12, carry the one. Five plus three is eight, 82. So I have two ninths times 82 over 12. Let me go and see if I can cancel some things out. Well, I know the two and the 12 will give me six. And 82, not divisible by three, but it is divisible by two. So I'm gonna cross the six out and make it a three. And I'm gonna cross the 82 out and make it a 41. So I have 41 over three times one over nine, which is 41 over 27. And That's the coordinate for, that's the x coordinate for my center of mass. Now, this cube actually has a good amount of symmetry. And by that, we can say that the y and the z coordinates will also be 41 over 27. But if you're not sure, you can always go through the integrals for y bar and z bar as well. You'll notice that a lot of things seem really similar along the way, and then you should get 41 over 27 for each of them. So we're all set.